grandmothers, mothers, and women. Isn't it disgusting that we have to have this discussion on Roe v. Wade being reversed and listening to so many men trying to decide what we should do with our bodies when most of them doesn't have a clue of how our bodies function and which is not the way God intended it anyway. That's why he made us women and made men men. And we cannot tell them about their need for having access to Viagra when their body doesn't function as they would like it to. And that, that is an issue for them and their doctors to deal with. And when it comes to us and our bodies, just to have the audacity to think that you, the government, can now control my body and tell me about some after pill to take should I get raped and report it, then it's just ludicrous. And women, we have the power to get what we want. The only problem is, do we have the unity to accomplish it? Because each of us, we vote more than anyone else. We shop more than anyone else. We, we, we are nurturers. And God gave us these inalienable rights, the, our vote, our dollars, our God, and our love. And he gave us our bodies to be in control of. He made us in the image and gave us the tools to reproduce. And he did not in any form or fashion tell a man that you have to regulate when and how a woman should have a baby. That is not your responsibility and we need you to back off. And we are going to make sure that you understand that our bodies and what we do with them is none of your business. And if you had any idea but there's no way for you to even begin to understand what a woman goes through when she makes a decision to have an abortion. It's not something that she comes to lightly and it's not something she will ever forget. It's just a decision she has to live with, deal with her conscience and her creator. And she does not need some man who doesn't have a, uh, I'm trying to keep it clean have no idea what it is we go through and how our bodies function. So don't even attempt to go there. What you can do is get together and put Roe v. Wade back or you're going to be sorry for the rest of your lives because we are not taking this quietly. So be warned. We're coming for you. You came for us and now we're coming for you. But we have real tools. We have real reason. And it's not power. It's nothing to do with politics. It's my God-given right. And we're going to exercise it one way or another. So you've been warned. Okay, grandmothers, mothers, and women. And LGBTQ. You guys, your issue is not reproduction. But it's your right to choose to love whomever you choose to love and marry whomever you want to marry. And the only person you need to answer to is our creator. So let's go to the polls this November. And let's let everyone know what we're saying. All right. I'll see you at the polls.